So hello again. It's fun to get to speak again to such an amazing, amazing group of folks. Wanted to share a couple of thoughts um, in addition to what we shared yesterday and tell you a little bit about what we talked about today and what we're moving forward into um, in the future. So the first question is really, you know, why is this work so important for us in Tulsa? And I know that my colleagues in the other school districts touched on this as well. The, the truth is that we're not doing well enough by our kids just yet, right? Every day, David actually referred to this, like we, we have students, for us it's almost 40,000 students who are in classrooms who are not necessarily always receiving really high quality, deep learning that is powerfully enough connected to the things that they'll need to do in the future. And one of the reasons that that's not happening is because our teachers are so stretched thin in Oklahoma, we don't even have enough teachers for every single classroom. And they're fighting against whether it's budget woes around what we can provide for them or salary woes that we most certainly are facing in Oklahoma. And as well as a negative public narrative about our schools, about our students and families, and also about our teachers. And one of the things that I think is so exciting about this work, about coming together with all the folks here in this room, and then also the work that's growing out into our um, local areas, is that the folks in this room are actively creating a counter narrative. Not only combating that negative narrative, but actively creating a counter narrative by being teachers who are stretched thin and underpaid and underappreciated, who say, you know what? I'm going to sign up during the summer when everyone thinks I don't do anything <laughs> to go out to Yale for two weeks to think about as deeply as I may have ever been doing some thinking before. After all of the reading I did in the last couple of weeks of school and as school got out, and then to be challenged and pushed by my colleagues from across the country in ways that I thought I knew what my students needed and people are continuing to push my thinking and to stretch my understanding of what's possible for my students. That's when the magic happens. Then when teachers get back into their classrooms and begin to teach those units, you feel their passion. Um, I came to this conference for the first time four years ago and Krista and I were talking about just sort of where we've come to in the last four years. And I remember referencing today just one of her units that I talked to one of my um, curriculum coordinators about and still watching how she lights up about a unit that she wrote several years ago and thinking about how she uses pieces of that in her classroom. Unfortunately, not enough of our teachers have that on a day-to-day -day basis, right? And so how do we make that real? And so one of the things that's so exciting about the Teachers Institute approach is that it's not limited to just what we can do here, right? The, the design is for us to go do that back in our local communities, and we're super excited that um, in just a few days, on November 6th, we will start our first local Teachers Institute for Tulsa um, seminars. And we're gonna start with 30 fellows, which will more than double the number of fellows that we have in Tulsa, and we'll start to really exponentially impact our system as more and more teachers are having these joint conversations, as more and more teachers are delving in and really deepening their content knowledge, and deepening their content knowledge in areas that they might not have quite chosen before. I heard teachers today during our team meeting talking about, well, you know, what about that Shakespeare one? What about that math? I, I think it could be about science too. Um, you know, looking for those connections and those transdisciplinary um, opportunities that really prepare our students for what's coming in the future. And so we're really excited because as a district, you know, we have so many things we're trying to do. And it's always so hard to figure out what are the key things, where to start. And as I shared yesterday, two of our key priorities are about powerful learning experiences for all students and engaging and empowering educators. And so this opportunity, both nationally and then also locally, gives us an opportunity to invest in that, invest in our teachers so that they're creating those experiences for students. And then also to practice the kind of learning with adults, as I say learning with adults, that we know actually reaps the benefits that we will have for our students. 
we talked today about the opportunity we have as we launch our local institute to really think about these questions of evaluation that some of us grappled with yesterday and thinking about how do we look at student impact and tell the stories, right? How do we tell the stories of the experiences our teachers are having as well as the experiences our students are having and how those impact their dispositions about learning, their content knowledge, their interest in different fields. And we're really excited to embark upon that work and to collaborate with all of you as we think about how do we capture the impact of this on students as we do this collaborative work to strengthen teaching.